This is the real Tom Rose, and we're asked to calculate the perimeter of a wedge. Now the perimeter of a wedge is going to be equal to the length of a side. I'll draw one side here in blue plus another side, just another, another one that I'll draw in blue, plus an arc. Right now, what remains is whether we count is how we calculate the value of the sides and the value of an arc. Let's start out with the value of a side. You'll notice that the side in this case is equal to the radius of this circle. And we've actually been given the area of the circle. And we have, well, hopefully you have a memorized equation relating area and radius. Area equals pi r squared. Now we've been given the area. Area is 49 pi equals pi r squared. And from this, we can calculate the value of r. Pi cancels out, so it's on both sides. Then let's take the square root of what remains, and we'll end up with 7 equals r. It's actually plus or minus 7 equals r, but since we're dealing with a real shape, we want positive numbers. So I'm just going to get rid of that. Well, we've already figured out two of our plugins. We know the sides have length of 7. All we need now is the arc. Well, we know there's 12 congruent regions. So if I knew the circumference of this circle, I know that 1 12th of it is the size of that arc. So circumference over 12 equals the arc, right? And it just so happens we also have an equation relating radius and circumference. Circumference equals 2 pi r. And we already have the radius is 7. So let's plug that in. The circumference equals 2 pi times 7, or 14 pi. And wow, this is going to get ugly because <laughs> we have to now divide that by 12. But what are you going to do? So let's take our 14 pi and plug that in for the circumference. And what we'll end up with is 14 pi over 12 equals the arc. Now we're going to take that and we're going to plug it in to the arc. So we'll get 14 pi over 12. So this, if we sum it all up, and I'm looking at the answer choices now to make sure I put it in the right form, will be 14 plus 14 pi over 12. And this wants to be simplified. So let's divide both of those by 2. We'll get 7 pi over 6. And do we have a match? Yes, that's answer choice C.